Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 2 power a plus 2 power b plus 2 power c equals to 2320. In other words, we are going to find the value of a, b and c where a is less than b and b is less than c. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and scan this right hand side number and here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and factor it out. We can write this thing as 232 times 10, isn't it? And now this number 232 could be written as 8 times 20. 9 and this 10 could be written as 2 times 5. Now let's go ahead and combine 8 times 2 that is going to give us 16 and let's uh, multiply 29 times 5 that is going to give us 145 and now this 16 could be written as 2 power 4 and then times 100 and 45. Therefore, our this right hand side number 2320 could be written as 2 power 4 times 145. And now let's focus on the left hand side of this uh, equation. I am going to manipulate this thing. I am going to multiply and divide by 2 power a and divide by 2 power a at the very same time. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And this uh, 2 power a, I can just simply put it underneath over here like uh, this one as you can see over here. Now let's go ahead and simplify. Furthermore, I can write uh, 2 power a outside. Inside the parentheses, I can write this thing uh, 2 power a divided by 2 power a plus uh, 2 power b divided by 2 power a plus finally 2 power c divided by 2 power a equals to I'm going to replace this one by this one I can write 2 power 4 times 145 now this could be written as 2 power a times 2 power a and this 2 power a is simply is going to give us 1 plus now let's recall this quotient rule of exponents we are going to apply it over here so that is going to give us 2 power b minus a plus i'm going to apply on this one as well that is going to give us 2 power c minus a equals to 2 power 4 times 100 and 45 and now over here we can see on the left hand side this is an odd number because we are adding one to it so this is an odd number likewise this is an odd number as well and over here this is 2 power a and this is a 2 power 4 they have the same basis so by comparison we can write this thing as 2 power a equals to 2 power 4 and the other one let's compare these odd ones 1 plus 2 power b minus a plus 2 power c minus a equals to 145 let's focus on this equation we have the same bases so therefore we can equate our exponents as well so therefore we can write a equals to 4 and that's our one of the solutions a value turns out to be 4 and now let's focus on this equation let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides this is gone so therefore we ended up with a 2 power b minus a plus 2 power c minus a equals to 144 and now let's focus on this uh, number on the right hand side 144 and here i have copied it down and 144 could be written as 16 times 9 and this 16 could be written as 2 power 
four times nine. So therefore, this number one hundred forty-four could be written as two power four times nine. And now let's recall this quotient rule once again. We are going to apply it over here on the left hand side. So this could be written as two power b divided by two power a plus two power c divided by two power a equals to two power four times nine. And here in the next step, uh, I just wrote down this uh, two power a as the common denominator. And now we can see our a value is four. I'm going to replace it uh, over here, a by four. So this uh, denominator could be written as uh, two power four. As you can see in this uh, next step, let's go ahead and remove uh, this fraction uh, two power four. So therefore, I'm going to multiply both sides by two power four on this side, and I'm going to multiply two power four on this right hand side as well. And here we can see this two power four and this two power four is gone. So we ended up with the two power b plus two power c equals to. And now let's recall this product rule. We are going to apply it over here. Two power four times two power four is going to give us a two power. We're going to add their exponents. So it's going to be a two power eight times nine. And now let's go ahead and manipulate the left hand side. I am going to multiply and divide by two power b and two power b divided at the same time. And we can write this one two power b outside. And I'm going to put this one underneath over here. So this could be written as two power b divided by two power b plus two power c divided by Two power b equals to two power eight times nine, and now simplify furthermore. So that's going to give us two power b times. This is going to give us simply one plus. And now let's recall this quotient rule once again. We are going to apply it on this one. So this is going to become two power c minus b equals to. Two power eight times nine, and now once again we can see that this is our odd number because we are adding one to it, and this is odd number as well. And these are going to go together, two power b, and this right hand side, two power eight, since they have the same bases too. So let's go ahead and compare them. So I'm going to get. Two power b equals to two power eight, and let's compare the odd ones as well. So one plus two power c minus b equals to nine. Now let's focus on this equation. We can see our bases are same, so therefore we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore our b value turns out to be eight. And this is our another solution. Now let's focus on this uh, right hand side equation. Let's go ahead and subtract one from both sides. This is gone, so we ended up with uh, two power c minus b equals to eight. And now we know that uh, eight could be written as uh, two power three. So therefore, this could be written as two power c minus b. Equals to two power three. Now we can see our bases are same on both sides, so therefore we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore I can write this one as c minus b equals to three. But we know that our b value is eight, so I'm going to replace this b by simply eight. So therefore, I can write c minus eight equal to three. Let's add eight on both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our c value turns out to be eleven, and that's our one of another solutions. So thus, we figured out our all solutions: a equals to four, b equals to eight, and c equals to eleven. 
and thus here are our solutions thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye